This is Kevin Wall reporting from Jam Packed Keel Auditorium in St. Louis. Harley Race is attempting to become a seven times world champion as he takes on Nature Boy Ric Flair for the World Heavyweight Wrestling title. We are in the third and deciding fall. Both wrestlers own a fall. It is a best two out of three falls match. Let's get to the action. Harley Race against Ric Flair. And I'll tell you, these guys have gone round and round before. The one thing you talk about, endurance. Harley Race in control here. Now Harley Race with his opponent up against the rope. Look out. He missed a chop there and a miss by Harley Race. Look out, both wrestlers tumble out of the ring here at ringside. The photographer is scattering. Harley Race and Ric Flair taking this world title match out onto the arena floor. And this match now moving out into the crowd. I tell you, things are getting out of hand here at ringside. Harley Race. Down. Look out, Ric Flair coming off that ring turnbuckle. Look out, down he goes, down goes referee Sonny Myers as well. There should be a pin count, one, two, three, but Sonny Myers is down. Now Ric Flair kicks out. And both wrestlers a bit groggy at this point. Tremendous endurance on the part of these two great professional athletes. Look out. Down goes highly Race. And Ric Flair, look out, here comes the figure four. Let's see if... Harley Race is going to give up. No, he's over that bottom ring rope, and Sonny Myers orders a break. And again, Ric Flair going after that left leg of Harley Race. Look out! Ric Flair into that top ring turnbuckle. And Flair is in trouble. The champion now in trouble. Harley Race. Look out! Now Flair in control. Both wrestlers down. Both wrestlers' shoulders on the mat. The count is one, the count is two. I don't believe it. Harley Race's left shoulder came up. Ric Flair's shoulders were down on the mat. Flair thinks he has won this match and retained his title. Let's see. Sonny Myers looking for the title belt at ringside. And let's see who he is going to award this to. Ric Flair believes that he has won. Now the title belt being awarded to Harley Race, a seven times world champion. Can you believe it? Harley Race, seven times world champion. Welcome to Wrestler Weekly Presents. This is episode 10, and man, I am fired up for this episode. What an intro to go June 1983. Can you believe it? These two men, Ric Flair, Harley Race, Ric Flair, Unbelievable. I've got two mags for this show. The hot mag and the final mag. 1983. Are you ready? Was that a great intro to hear? Kind of, kind of an old school feel, you know, kind of a radio feel, if you will. That's my uh, 10 pounds of gold there that I have, uh, will show at some point uh, down the road, signed by the greats, signed by Dusty Rhodes, signed by Harley Race and Ric Flair, Terry Funk and Tommy Wildfire Rich. And then I also have autographs of wrestlers that had passed on before I was given an opportunity to meet them, such stars as Jack Briscoe, Kerry Von Erich, and Giant Baba. That's right, Giant Baba on the belt. And so, before I get started here, officially get started, shout out this Sunday was for my good buddy Bobby Norton, 
down in my hometown of Jacksonville, Florida. So a shout out to my brother Reggie and my family, my mom and dad, down in Jayville. A lot of great wrestling happened in the Jacksonville Coliseum. Uh, Harley Race, Ric Flair, all the greats wrestled in the Jacksonville Coliseum. Now, give you a little bit of, kind of, kind of give you some education here for those that just don't know. And that is 1983 was such a great year in wrestling. A lot of things happened. Starcade, uh, all the stuff happening in the WWF with changing of titles with Backlund and Iron Sheik and, and the, the rise of Hulkamania. But remember, the magazines we're always a little bit behind. So, today's focus is on one match and two wrestlers. You heard the match. It's out there. It's on YouTube. You can go check it out. But I wanted you to hear and I wanted you to see that it's such a lost art to just take it in. Close your eyes, take it in, or just simply look at the 10 pounds of gold. But here it is. And I love this title of this one. I've proved I'm the best ever. Press conference, Harley Race. I like this one. Uh, Harley signed this one for me uh, at his, his wrestling school. And uh, he also was kind enough to give me a 20 minute uh, video or excuse me, a, a audio. I interviewed him for a project that I'm working on, and, and he was gracious enough to do that. So um, you'll, you'll get to hear that uh, soon enough. But here's the mag. This is PWI, November of 83, uh, June 10th, 1983, the Kill Auditorium, St. Louis, Missouri, the home state of Harley Race. And uh, what, a, what a match. It was best two out of three. Uh, both had one fall each. Rick Flair, uh, well, Harley had Rick up and, and was going to suplex him. Rick jumps over the back. He gets up under him. He does a back suplex, as Gordon Soley would say. And then while both men were on the ground, he Flair's hooked the legs, has the legs up, and Flair's shoulders are both down. Harley's are both down. One. Two, Harley gets the shoulder up, Flair does not, and there you have it, seven-time world champion of the NWA. Uh, so a great one there, but here's the mag of the match. Look at these guys, both signed by Harley Race, by Ric Flair. I uh, was able to get this one signed. Uh, Harley signed this one at his wrestling school. And then uh, Flair signed this one down in Alma, Georgia. Uh, got to meet him down there, and he signed quite a bit for us. Um, and just to kind of, I've got a lot of stuff uh, signed by Flair, but uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a, of a background story in, uh, of this signing, because I know that it's, it's kind of a, a funny story as well. But uh, Reggie, my brother, and I, we... We got there, typically when we go see Flair or someone like that, of that caliber that we have a lot of things to get signed, uh, what we try to do is we try to work things out ahead of time with the promoter. Uh, that way we're not holding up a line uh, with like 50 items. So typically we, a lot of events, we're, we're kind of in and out uh, before a line even forms. We try to get in there uh, when the wrestlers get there, we get all of our stuff out of the way because we typically have quite a bit in bulk. Uh, we do not sell. Uh, we are not wholesalers. Uh, we are collectors. Big difference. Uh, and we're not hounds either. Uh, I know there's uh, a lot of times guys like me that are collectors, uh, we get a little bit of a bad rap that we're hanging out behind trash cans behind the building waiting on people to come out of their parking lot. That's that's not us. We, we are very... Um, uh, you know, we understand uh, the lives that, that, that our heroes live. And so uh, we will go to Fan Fest and those kinds of events, big time wrestling, those kinds of events. 
But uh, this particular one, we were down in Alma, Georgia, uh, and big time wrestling. And uh, we were there early. Uh, we were all set up well before the gates opened, and Flair was late. Um, and he was late, and he was late, and he was late, and it was getting close. And what happened was he ended up, the, the driver that picked him up, uh, he got a speeding ticket. And so that's what, that was the holdup, is the driver was trying to get him there, and, um, you know, plane was late or whatever, but he was going through some back roads and hit a speed trap, and, um, and so he was late. Meanwhile, we're waiting, and the line, they opened the gates, they had to finally open the doors, and it's in a high school gym, and the line is literally wrapped all the way down. So if you picture a basketball court, so from one corner, one end, all the way down the sideline, all the way around the side, out the door, in the lobby, outside, and probably another 100 people uh, outside. And so we're at the front, and we have a lot of items to get signed. And so it was, we just, Flair sat down. He was gracious. He he uh, was uh, uh just a just a just like a legend that he is and uh, he knocked it out man we had a great conversation throughout uh and um and just had a great time but uh, so harley had already signed this and when flair put signature to it it just kind of made it for me this this is the wrestler october of 83 it says record shattering seventh title reign harley race defeats rick flair for the nwa world title and so, um, just two good ones here. Uh, two good ones. You heard the beginning of the match, um, Harley defeating. Uh, that was actual audio from the Kill Auditorium that night in June of 83. This was before this set up Starcade. So a lot of people aren't really familiar with this match, but very historic, in a historic building, in a historic auditorium, in a, in a historic territory, as far as the headquarters of the NWA. I mean, there's so many things that were happening, um, and this set up the, the comeback. This set up the, the flair for, for, for the gold. And so all those things that, remember, that was Thanksgiving, and so those magazines did not hit until 1984. Now, I will tell you, next week's episode is jam-packed. I mean, you're talking Hogan, you're talking Kerry Von Erich, you're talking Ric Flair. You're, I mean, it is the who's who in professional wrestling. But I wanted to shed some spotlight on the man, Harley Race. Tommy Rich says he's the greatest world champion of all time. It's hard to argue. Harley Race, a true champion, a man's man, uh, coming back. People really had written him off at this point. He comes back. Flair had a pretty good run, remember? Defeated Dusty, had a really good run. And here comes the king, Harley Race, coming back. And he defeats Flair, and the rest becomes history. But I wanted to really spotlight this match for you. And for a lot of new new uh, subscribers that may not uh, be familiar with it. So uh, thank you. You can follow us everywhere, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at Wrestler Weekly. Go to WrestlerWeekly.com and sign up for VIP. Uh, VIP is where it's at. Matter of fact, tonight, VIP, I'm going to go through and show you all the autographs on my 10 pounds of gold, and we can compare notes. But thanks again uh, for uh, showing up, watching. Wednesday night at 9, you cannot beat it. You know, get your Lucha Underground in, get your NXT in, and Wrestler Weekly presents, we'll be waiting. Thank you.